Okay, it's paint day. At least for the floor. So you've seen the previous videos of us rust proofing or rust killer. Um, I've also did a video I think showing uh, me sealing up all of the little holes everywhere. And I went and fixed these big holes back here. I don't think I put a video up on these because I was coming home after work just quickly doing some welding and then I went back and sealed them with um, liquid nails and caulking. Uh, all these panels, plates around the wheel wells are all solid now. And uh, I'll take some pictures and pop them up on Instagram. So if you want to swing over there, my Instagram site, you can see some pictures of some of these and um, pretty much see what I did there. So today we're going to mix some paint up. But what I have here is um, some heavy duty uh, equipment paint I've had to laying around. Oh, look, I think they still have some similar to this too on Amazon. And I'll put a link down in the description. But I'm just using up some stuff. This one's red, these two are white. I'm going to mix it all together and we're going to do the floor with it. Uh, it's not going to matter if it comes out pink, which it might because we're going to be putting insulation down this floor and a subfloor and all that. Uh, the bottom line is we want to put a good rugged paint that's going to help prevent rust even though we put the rust killer. Anything we can do when you're building something like this, you want a solid foundation, in this case with the floor and below, and a solid, safe and waterproof roof. So we're going the extra mile to make sure we put some heavy duty stuff down uh, to make sure that's as best as it can possibly be. So uh, we're going to get to it, get mixing this paint up, and then uh, we'll paint it up. We have the paint all mixed. We are gonna take the paint out. We're gonna start painting. So we got probably, I'd say two and a half gallons here. That's plenty. Should be able to do this for twice if we wanted to. And it is gonna be paint. We got a paint floor. of things I hate to do. Not so bad with a roller, but brush painting, cannot stand it. Hey Trace, what are you thinking of painting the outside this color? No? 
No. No. You don't want a pink bus? No. Well, I don't care really. I don't care what it looks like on the outside. These are one of the, this painting is one of the things that just one of the things that I lose all sense of detail because I hate to freaking do it, so I just want it done. Eh, it's good enough. Let's just get it done. Normally, I'm very detail-oriented, Adam. All right, so as you can see, we just finished up the painting. Um, nothing special. Oh, we do have some other little projects we'll be doing, but we'll probably put those in a separate video. I just made this kind of a high-speed, quick video. I might just release this one as a bonus video um, for a second video this particular week. We'll see. But anyway, uh, it came out pink, so... I don't need to be. <laughs> I know what you were blocking me. Oh. It came out pink, which I knew it was going to, because we had a bright red, and we had two half uh, gallons of white, or a little more than half gallons each. But anyway... Uh, the purpose was to protect the floor, and that's exactly what this is going to do. This is a rust protective paint. It's a heavy equipment paint for outside, and it's oil-based, so it's pretty good stuff. I'll find some good stuff, probably the same exact uh, brand. I've had this one around for a while, so I'll look on Amazon. If I do, I'll put a link down in the description as well as to some of the tools that you're going to need if you're going to do a job like this and paint your floor as well. Uh, anyway, remember, anyways, remember, life is a wild ride. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and if you have a question, please put it down there in the uh, comment section, and I'll be happy to answer any question. We are learning as we go as well. I've watched tons of other YouTubers doing this type of thing, uh, learning from them, so um, I'd be happy to pass on anything we've come across along the way as well. Also, take a minute to swing over to our Instagram. We usually put pictures up there uh, quicker than the YouTube videos, and uh, our website, lifethewildride.com which has our Instagram and YouTube feed on it. So if you ever forget, just go to lifethewildride.com and that has everything on there. Uh, we will eventually be putting more blog information, but right now it's pretty much a YouTube feed and our Instagram feed, as well as a little bit of commenting uh, in there as well. Have a great day, and remember, life is a wild ride. You're on. We have some leftover paint. You're gonna put your handprint. It's very you barely see it. The sun is not right. Oh, that's cool. I can't tell if it can see it or not though. And hey, what else am I gonna do with this paint? All right? Yeah. Looks like someone's got bloody hands. Yeah, it does. Ooh. All right, let me shut it off. Oh, I'm gonna do both hands. Yeah. What? Ready? Yep. You video? Yes. <laughs> Alright, we can't leave it all school bus yellow, so. There! Hey, that's actually cool, Trace. We could it's do the whole. It's gonna be your handprints, though. We could do the whole bus. I'm probably making more work for myself. Oh well. That's pretty neat. That is neat. You like it? I don't know. You get a different color and then... Yeah, do some more, do the whole... I wonder if that would qualify. I don't know. As non... To check. non school bus yellow. They're all going to be your handprints, though. Well, you'll have to get gloves on. <laughs> I put my hands in that. Why not? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Don't trip. <laughs> it's not even funny. Cool. All right. We're wrapping it up. We're done painting the floor.